Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Alex Bourne, and I'm a pro guitar player and teacher based in the US. On this channel, we will discuss the tools and strategies that help us play more guitar better. So today what I wanna talk about is something called konako. And konako is a rhythmic system, a rhythmic language that originated in South India and is widely used by musicians there to communicate, understand, and process rhythms. And I think it's way, way better than what I learned in music school, which seems to be the way that most music students in the Western Hemisphere learn about it as well. So I will do a demonstration of it for you, and then I'll talk about some of the reasons why I like it. Okay, so here is just a regular old pulse. So one division is easy. It's just ta, 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 ta. And there's a whole hand component to, to it too, as well as a, a vocalization. Two divisions is ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta. Three divisions. Ta, ki, ta, ta. Four divisions. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, ta. Five divisions. Tati gaina to tati gaina to tati gaina to tati gaina to ta. So taka dimi, the hands are. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, ta. Tati gena uh, fives. Tati gena to tati gena to tati gena to tati gena to ta. <laughs> so once you get higher than that, you just kind of put together smaller numbers, like six. It's going to be three plus three. Taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta ta. Sevens is four plus three or three plus four. Taka dimi taki ta taka dimi taki ta taka dimi taki ta taki dimi taki ta ta. Taka dimi taki ta ta. There we go. That was. Sevens, eights, takadimi, 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 ta. Nines. I'm not doing the fingers anymore because I don't have enough fingers. Nines. <laughs> I'll give this a shot. Tatigana to takadimi, takadina to takadina. Takadim. Tati gaina tu takadimi, tati gaina tu takadimi, takadana tu. Okay. All right. So that's my upper limit. But anyways, uh, that's the system of Konako. And I hardly ever play nines in my music anyway, you know. But at least I have a system here for, for vocalizing and figuring it out and dividing the beat if I come across it. So... One of the things I really, really like about Konako is it's organized and it's standardized and it's super well thought out and there's just no end to how deep and how much you can manipulate the system to get rhythms. Whereas with the Western system, we, we really only have like one, two, three, and four, and one E and a two E and a one triplet, two triplet. And it's just, it's just not standardized. Some people say triple it, triple it, and lose counts of the beats, or um, they have words, watermelon, 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 you know, things like that. Um, and it's, uh, it, after a lot of different divisions, it gets to be a mouthful too, because 
um, we're saying diphthongs and consonants and vowels just to say our words, you know, whereas with konakol, it's always just a consonant and a vowel. Ta, ti, ge, na, tu. Easy, very easy to say quickly. And it just rolls off the tongue once you, once you practice it and get better at it. So th that's one thing I really like about it. Uh, the other thing is it has a whole hand, a systematic hand component to it too. I haven't gone uh, beyond like sixes, sevens, and eights and nines with the hand. But the Western Hemisphere system doesn't even have a hand system. It's just clapping on the beat. And I find that students have a very difficult time after quarter notes even with eighth notes, beyond eighth notes, it can get really hard for students to mentally divide uh, a pulse into equal beats with the system that we have. The other thing I like about Kona Call is it has a vocal component to it. So I kind of already discussed the syllables, ta, ti, ge, na, tu, and how, e how much easier those are to the Western syllables, or words for that matter, that we're trying to fit into divisions of a beat. Um, but with Kona Call, when you lump the syllables together, you get words. And the way the human brain works is, uh, it remembers words and stories a lot better than it re remembers individual bits of information, you know, like orders of letters and, you know, elements of our language in a serial order. Um, so it chunks things together into words like takadimi. You hear that and you instantly think four, to, four equal divisions in a beat. You know, you can play around with that word too. So you can omit anything in the middle or on the end. You could say, taka di mi, taka di mi, taka di, taka di, taka, mi taka, mi taka, mi taka, mi ta di mi ta, di mi ta, di mi taka, mi taka, ta, mi ta, mi ta. So there I played around with all resting on all the different um, divisions of the beat so you can hear the different words that come out. And so when you hear that word, you instantly get a picture of what the rhythm is. At least I do, and I find that very convenient. So that's the vocal and the language component of Kona Kol. And so I've tried this with a lot of my students already. Uh, some students are as young as six. Um, and adults too, and people tend to pick it up quicker. Actually, they have. I can say that they have picked it up quicker than one e and a two e and a one and two and. Um, and I, it's kind of funny. It surprised me at first because I thought, oh, this is these are these are Indian. This is part of an Indian language, and they might not pick it up. But if you think about it. We have ta, ti, ge, na, to those sounds in our language anyway, so people pick them up fine. And even though they're kind of like, at least to an English speaker, they're nonsense words like takadimi, takadimi, um, people still remember them. Um, so I think that's really cool, and I was really glad to see that happen with my students. So those are some of the reasons why I like Conical. Are there any reasons that you like Conical if you've tried it before? And if so, share with us down in the comments here. I'd love to hear it. And maybe that would give me some new ideas too. If you haven't heard of Conical, you should try it. Stop watching YouTube and go try it. Thanks for watching.